And then it's a, it's a process of iteration. Then I do more of that and I go back to the sales team or the SDR team and say, hey, what do you think? Oh yeah, that makes sense. Let's try more of that. And you, so it's a process of iteration. And, and this is literally like what I did for my PhD because what happens is, you know, I talk about those data signals about aggressive breast cancer and not aggressive. We look at clusters of data in, and it's displayed in color. So we're literally seeing red clusters. And then we go look at the data points, which are genes and proteins. And we're trying to see, are they part of the same family? Do they interact? Can I tell a story around them? And then we build the story that way. So it's very much the same thing, right? And that's exactly the same kind of analysis that I do when someone asks, here's my digital marketing. Tell me what's working, right? Because it's a very open-ended question. We just look at the data and see what's an outlier. What are things that are colored and clustered together? And can I tell a story? So for example, what we found out from one of the analysis of, of, of you know, that I did for an engagement, it's like, huh, this unsubscribe rate for people that are engaged in nurture is exceptionally low. So that tells to me that you know, people that are engaged, you can send them a lot of messages, it doesn't bother them, right? Versus, yeah. Versus people that aren't engaged, they're annoyed after and they just don't want to hear from you. Versus the other question that I hear, which again, I don't think is the, is the question I would not ask is, how many emails do I send until people are pissed off and unsubscribed? I'm sure you hear that question a lot, right? Oh yeah. But that's not the right question. You got to come at it that the other way around.